This one's going to focus on positive action. So I think I'm going to make this one in the shed. Well, I'm trying, but uh, it's really cold in here and um, it's very noisy outside. Even our primitive ancestors were rewarded for positive action. When I say reward, I mean they were rewarded with what scientists now know is particular brain chemicals. Brain chemicals that we get when we focus our attention on doing the things we love. The one you've probably heard the most is the word serotonin. The wonderful brain chemical that we get when we're in a relaxed state, when we get good REM sleep, and also when we focus our attention on doing the things we enjoy doing. It's surprising, isn't it, that doing work that we enjoy doing is actually good for our brains. If our job's thrown into chaos, or we're not able to work for whatever reason, then it makes sense, doesn't it, that we might begin to suffer with that anxiety type stuff. So if you're lucky enough to be able to do the job that you love, then that's great. Anything that you can do that needs your concentration, that helps you focus your attention, is, is actually really, really good for you. Whether it's a job, a complex job, but other things like exercise, walking, drawing, gardening, art, music, singing, dancing. You know, the activities that when you do them, you just get lost in the moment. You get lost in the present. And when your mind's in the present, then your primitive mind isn't driving, so to speak. Because the primitive mind's either going to be in the past or in the future. As soon as our anxiety goes up, we're using our primitive thinking and it's forced to think back to the past, to events that have already gone, or to hallucinate events in the future that probably won't even happen. So staying in the present is really, really important for our thinking. And the easiest way to do this is to focus on those things where we get lost in the present. So you know the activities that, that are for you, the ones that you could begin to, to do, even if it's five minutes at a time. Five minutes of picking up a pen and writing something or drawing something. Five minutes of returning to an old hobby that you haven't done for a while. Five minutes and five minutes more every day. Because it's these activities that will help your brain generate serotonin. As opposed to when your primitive brain's anxious, it's generating cortisol and adrenaline, making you feel really, really uncomfortable. Or if you feel really depressed, it's probably because you're not producing any brain chemicals at all, useful ones like serotonin. So why not have a think today, tonight, about something that you could begin to do? Because if you only had five minutes, five minutes in the present is much better than five minutes worrying about being in the past or worrying about the future. Because all we have is now.